what are we doing today, Lauren? We are shaving your head. Clean up. Clean up. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. That was freezing cold. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Wet in the back of your hair so I can actually shave oh it. Oh my me. god. I'm really sorry. <laughs> i got to get as straight as you'll kill me. I oh, know, that's oh. true. We're not cutting a whole lot off, we're just cutting a little bit at the back. An undercut, yeah, because I'm so cool and trendy. How's it looking? It's looking good. I'm just going to wet this so it sticks up. Is the finished product not too bad for an amateur hmm. <laughs> hairdresser barber looking good babe lovely stuff welcome to sailing indiana we are lauren and chris and we've recently bought our first boat this is a story of how we hope to swap a life in the city for a life at sea please like and subscribe and welcome aboard Okay, so another job that we need to do is get an anchor chain. The boat didn't come with one when we bought it, and we keep saying that we're going to get one, and we haven't done yet. The uh, the windlass, we're not sure what type of chain it will take, whether it's 8 mil, 10 mil, that sort of thing. So I've had a look at it, took a picture, and I'm going to go off to the chandlery and see what they say, see what they've got. Um, I know they sell chain, but um, we can see if they can identify what chain that needs. So wish us luck. some anchor chain. <laughs> um, this is not the length of chain that we need. It's not going to really hold us, it's not going to really help us in, uh, in the depths of water that we need. But the chandlery up there were really kind and they said that we could use this test piece of 8mm galvanised um, calibrated chain to see if it rolls over the windlass and um, yeah if it works. If so, then yeah, we can get some. I think it's about six pound twenty-five a meter, and we're looking for about fifty meters. We think we probably don't need that sort of length in along the coast in the UK. But if we do go further afield, or when we do, then we're going to start looking at sort of maybe some deeper water, and that's going to be when yeah, we're going to need a bit of depth. So, and looking at maybe fifty meters, then yeah, we can sort of yeah, we could quite comfortably anchor in 10 meters of water. So yeah, let's, let's go and have a look if it works. Got quite a nifty little anchor locker here. It's pretty filthy actually. And this is the windlass in question. Um, yeah, it's like a Simpson Lawrence Horizon 500, uh, 1500 and using this chain. We're going to just have a look. Just using one hand doesn't really help. Oh yeah, that looks pretty decent actually. That looks like it's looks like it's biting well. Let's give it a little play with 
of this. He says. Perfect. So, ooh, looks like we're in business. What have we here? Looks suspiciously like a boom. Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm! Ooh, with all new Harkin track. And alcohol system. So soon we could be in business. Okay, so this is halfway through the work that is um, is to be completed. So we've got um, we've got the boom, which is um, just been unconnected because I think there's a furler gear that needs to go inside the mast that's been forgotten. But not forgotten, but yeah. So that plate's now been taken off. Which, by the way, is my own personal prophecy. It went missing from the toilet Which is there. Sorry about the radio. And the van is going to be attached. So we've got a new new runners across there. There's still some work to get Indiana ready to leave the marina. So when our lovely neighbor Jeff invited us out on his motorboat, we jumped at the chance. Oh, he's This is it. There we go. <laughs> what a day for it. <laughs> Afternoon, skip up. Afternoon. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna come and say the helm, Lauren. So I can go and check the boat. Yep. <laughs> Trying to drink, guys. I'm okay for now, thank you. Yeah. I'm right. No champagne? Sure.
had an amazing day cruising along the seafront. We anchored off and enjoyed our first swim in the sea this year. We finished the day with a lovely dinner out on deck. Jeff, we can't thank you enough. Another huge thank you we need to make is to our friend Andrew at Medusa Creations UK. He wanted to make us something unique that he would be proud to think of floating around the seas with us. So we gave him a pretty tricky challenge of making a gimbaled drinks caddy. Needless to say, he absolutely nailed it. All his work is made with forage driftwood and other materials and you can check him out on Instagram.